Hi agents. Before we get into this, I just want to say if you like this video or you like any of my other videos I do on the stream ski, please hit that subscribe button, hit like, share them if you can. It really helps me grow. So if you do like what I do, please be sure to click that. I'm also on social media. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter through, sorry, by searching GT Rock. And uh, if you could uh, follow me on there as well, that would be great. It really does help me grow. And uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, but into the video, uh, I get asked a lot of the time when I'm streaming or on the videos I put out there, how do I get the mask that I'm wearing? So uh, there must be some like confusion as to get them um, with some people. So if I do the video, I've got all the masks as they stand um, at the date of posting this. There probably will be more added in the future and I will cover them in the future. But for now, all the masks I show in this video are the masks that are available. I'll uh, show them to you and give you, well, I'll tell you where you can see for yourselves how to get them and I'll give you any hints and tips that I have. I have made some videos uh, so far relating to getting these masks and you can find all links for that in the description. I'll probably make more in the future as well because I haven't covered videos for a few global events yet. So uh, yeah, check out the description of the video if you want to find some more links with uh, more in-depth hints of how to get some of these masks. Uh, but yeah, so let's get straight into it. So uh, you can find your masks in your inventory and press an R1 going over to appearance and then go into masks. And there's 15 in total at the minute, with the first one being this bug mask. So for this bug mask, this is tied to a commendation in the ambush set list, well, commendation list. Uh, the commendation is called Motion Blur, and it requires you to kill 100 enemies while moving. And you can only do this during the global event ambush, so you won't be able to do this at any other point. So that has finished now. Um, that's like the fourth one to come back round. You've got Outbreak, Assault, and Strike before ambush. So it's going to be quite a while before you'll be able to obtain this again if you haven't already got it. Uh, but when it does come back round, killing 100 enemies while moving is very, very easy. Um, there are a few... Like terms, you've got to stick to, uh, you've got to be on world tier 5, on hard or above difficulty. I Maybe as well, you might have to do it on the missions in the ambush set playlist. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, it doesn't say so in the commendation. But yeah, it's a very easy one to get. And that's your first mask out of 15. This is actually one of my favourites, I really like it. Uh, moving on is the CBRM mask. Uh, this mask uh, was part of the Outbreak Global event. So the very first one that they did. Um, it's different requirements for it now. Back, back when Outbreak came out, uh, they tied the masks in with the uh, high score per hour on the leaderboards for the global event. And you had to get into tier 3, 2 or 1, or 1, 2 or 3, whichever way. And if you got into the highest tier, you'd get all three masks. If you got into tier 2, you'd get two masks. If you got into tier 1, you'd get one mask. That has now changed. And when the global event Outbreak comes back round, these are now tied to commendations. So, yeah, you may see on a few of these outbreak screens and putting up that I don't actually have the commendation, but I do have the mask. That is the reason why. Uh, so, for this one in particular, next time outbreak comes around, if you haven't already got this mask, uh, what you'll need to do is complete the need and aspirin commendation, which you can find on the outbreak commendation list, and that's to kill 125. Sorry that's to get 125 marked headshot kills during critical outbreak so part of outbreak is that if you're playing in a team or yourself yeah sorry playing in a team if you one of your teammates hits a headshot that enemy npc is marked and if you follow that up with another headshot you, the enemy will explode uh, so it's getting 125 of those kills it's very very easy and you'll you'll get it by just playing Outbreak consistently in a team. Uh, so that is that mask. Moving on to Cage. Okay, Cage is part of the Ambush global event again. So this is the fourth global event. And just to, so just to reiterate on that last mask, you can only get it in the Outbreak global event. You won't be able to get it in any other time. And that's the same with this one. This one can only be got in the Ambush global event. And for this mask, you, during that event, you need to kill 400 enemies while stationary, which is another very easy mask to get. Um, it, there are conditions, again, you have to be on World Tier 5 on hard difficulty or above. Uh, I believe you probably have to also do it in one of the missions on the playlist. But yeah, it's still very easy. You can you literally stand there and kill NPCs. And once you've done that 400 times, you'll have that mask. And then the next mask is Chemist. This is uh, back to Outbreak. So this is part of the um, Outbreak global event. So you can only get this mask again during Outbreak. Um, 
and it's going to be attached to the too close for comfort commendation which will work I don't not too many no so I'm not sure how many kills you need for this I haven't got the commendation for it when it came around um I'm guessing I don't know I, I can't guess it, it it's performs so many headshot kills with a shotgun so it, it's easy to get a clip a shotgun and it's got to be headshot kills now it's not very like it's not very clear whether to, uh, it has to be one of those like co-op kills where a teammate hits the headshot first and you make the enemy explode I'm really not sure from how it says it there as you can see it's just perform headshot kills with a shotgun uh, either way that's going to be a very easy master to get you just got to focus on it when the uh, outbreak comes back around you will have to be on world tier 5 harder above difficulty during severe or critical outbreak so that does have to be done on the playlist missions on outbreak and then we move on to the next next mask which is classic so uh, this mask is a uh, part of the strike global event so you have to wait for strike to come back around before you can get it and it's the best frenemies commendation so uh, that commendation requires you to complete a strike mission. No explosive, sorry, no explosive damage from an ally. So it has to be done in a team. It has to be on wheel tier five, hard or above, and it has to be tactical strike because that's when you can take damage from an ally. So uh, basically, when you kill enemies on strike, they explode. I think on the one, I'm not sure what it's called now, but the one before tactical strike. <laughs> is if you're close enough to an enemy when they explode, you'll take explosive damage. But on tactical, you'll also give explosive damage to your teammate if they are close enough to you. So uh, you basically got to complete a mission with a teammate. Don't stand anywhere near them and don't take no explosive damage from them. And you'll have this mask. It's very, very easy to get when strike comes back around. And then we move on to my favorite mask, which is happy. I really, really like it. It's like resembles the Joker a little bit. I'd love them. I'd love it if they did a Joker mask. Um, but yeah, this this mask can only be gotten during the Assault Global event. You can't get it outside of that. Uh, and it's the No Surrender commendation, and that commendation requires you to complete all of the missions that are on the Assault playlist without going down. Uh, you can do it solo or in a team, and I think four out of five missions you'd probably be able to do solo with a defense build. Uh, but Falcon Lost, you're certainly going to need to be in a team. And when this was around last, it was really difficult to get. Um, we never had all the builds that we had now. And it was it was a good challenge. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I spent most of the week trying to get it, which is why I never got all the commendations. But next time it comes around, you've now got all these new classified sets. You've got this six-piece defense set, which your team can use. And that's going to really make getting this mask a lot more easier. I will be covering it with a video next time Strike comes around. I wasn't on YouTube the first time, otherwise it would already be done. Uh, so do check out my channel if you do want help with that in the future. And then the next mask after that is Haze. So the Haze mask is part of the ambush global event so uh, can only be gotten during ambush and it's the personal space commendation which requires you to kill 250 enemies uh, while near an ally so this is similar to the like um, strike explosions um, on this if you are well part of this global event is if, you, if you're moving you're taking damage and if you are on a strategic um, ambush mission so they're like the hardest difficulty sort of thing the hardest of the modifiers uh you, you don't only lose damage while moving you lose damage while you're near an enemy there's like a little red bar that comes up and you go so close to them well to get this mask um what, what you have to do is you have to get close to your allies so um i've got a video on my channel there'll be a link in the description of uh how you can do this really really easy it takes about half hour to an hour maybe and you'll have your 250 kills very quick and you'll be able to unlock this mask but once again only during ambush you wouldn't be able to do it now for instance uh, that moves us on to the hockey mask and this is a very easy mask to get during the assault global event you have to get the lmb slayer commendation which requires you to kill 500 lmbs uh, on critical or major assault on world tier 5 harder above difficulty so it has to be on those missions on the playlist but yeah just play that global event play those missions kill 500 lmbs there's lmbs in every mission that are, that is on that playlist uh once you do that you'll get this mask it was the first mask i got during so it didn't take too long and then there's the jungle mask quite a smart looking mask there and um, this is part of the strike global events and it's the strike boss killer commendation which requires you to kill 150 riker bosses in total um 
it's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. It's like uh, I just um, rinse and repeat the end of Lexington over and over and killed Luray. It, it, it's boring. <laughs> but the beauty of it is, is you can do it on World Tier 1. It can be on any World Tier. It can be any mission. As long as it's a Riker boss, uh, it's going to count towards this 150. You, you just need to kill him. Um, so, yeah, very easy mass to get. Just very tedious. Uh, and that is that one. And then we move on to Piggy, which is a part of the... Um, which one? Assault, sorry. Assault Global Event. Uh, same one as Happy. And this one is Leave No Man Behind Commendation, which requires you to complete all the assault missions in a team. with. Uh, no, it says no first aid, support station, or group heal. Um, has to be World Tier 5 on hard or above, and it has to be critical or major assault. So, yeah, they're the conditions for it. Now, I, I actually think it's no healing skills at all. It does say no healing skills there. So, um, well, medical skills. So that includes pulse as well. You can't use pulse. So you to get this mask, you've got to complete all those missions in that set list there uh, without using pulse, support station, or first aid, as well as your recovery link. You can't use that green recovery link. Um what you can do though is on your talents you can use medical talents so i don't know combat medic uh, you can use that that's not a problem and you also can use medkits while you're playing the mission that's fine um and then after piggy is the rider mask uh this is what this one's quite recent this was part of the strike global events and it's the bomb proof commendation which requires you to complete a strike mission and no explosive damage being taken um so as i've said earlier uh during strike enemies will explode when you kill them you just got to complete a mission without taking any explosive damage off them so i don't know get a sniper mdr or whatever stay at distance a very easy mask to get it does have to be on world tier 5 hard difficulty or above and it has to be on preemptive or tactical strike and then after that we have the shady mask this is one that is a bit different this isn't attached to any global events um, so you can get this at any time um, and on the screen I just put on the screen now you'll see that uh, well, what's required to get it you've got to collect all six exotic gear pieces so uh, that's the Barrett's chest piece it's the MC gloves it's the ninja bike backpack Colonel Bliss holster short bow knee pads Pharaoh's oxygen mask there so once you've collected all six of those exotic pieces you'll unlock this mask uh, i don't believe you need to have them equipped i think i just got the mask because i had all six pieces so uh but if you have all six and you haven't got the mask just equip them all and that should do the trick uh to see uh the screen that i've just put up on the screen now all you got to do is go into your parents go to collections and click on general and the list is there i'll show you what you've got and what you haven't got Okay, and then there's the Sting Mask. Uh, once again, this is not attached to any um, global events. You can get this at any point. And um, it's the Hunter's Prey commendation in the combat list uh, on your commendations. That's where you'll find it. And you must kill 100 hunters in either the underground survival or resistance. Now, this, the easy part of this is you can have it on any world tier. So if you want to do underground on tier 1 or resistance on tier 1, you can do uh, get those hunters to spawn and kill them the, all those kills will count uh, i've got a link in the description there for underground uh, a way of uh, making more hunters spawn so uh, as you know when you're going underground you get that chance of hunter spawning or not and if they do say it's a team of four you'll have five hunters spawn once you've done that for the rest of the phase you won't get any more it's completely random well watch that video in the description if you want to find out how to make more hunter spawn it's not guaranteed but it's it does work sometimes I, we've had three hunter spawn so not three hunters but three waves of hunter spawn in one phase uh it's a very good tactic to get in those 100 kills um or if you really got to survival and resistance so whatnot you you know it, it's not difficult you can get it and then it's the the stygian mask this is the other hunter mask and uh for this one this is again tied to accommodation outside of global events and for this you're going to have to get um five hunters killed in survival five hunter kills in resistance and five hunter kills in underground um the accommodation it's tied to so is the you hunt me i hunt you in the combat accommodations on 
um, in your dossier. Uh, but yeah, uh, same again, can be world tier one. Uh, so when you're in underground or resistance, it can be world tier one and you just need to get 500 kills in each mode. So it's a total of 15 kills across all three modes and that's how you unlock that hunter's mask. And then that moves us on to the final one, which is trench. And this is uh, once again, part of the outbreak global event so uh, the commendation you're gonna need to unlock to get this in the future will be clean up on outbreak which requires you to kill so many cleaner bosses now i didn't get this commendation back when outbreak was out uh, i got it the way you know through the leaderboards how it was back then um you've seen the other boss kill commendations is 150 so i'm going to go this is 150 cleaner bosses but i'm not 100 sure but it'll be the same way as them um, you know it's just going to be completing 100 missions with bosses in and killing them or uh you know rinse and repeating on a boss you know kill one die get at the checkpoint kill them again die get at the checkpoint kill them again it's very tedious if it's 150 but very easy at the same time and one thing just to finally mention which i didn't mention on the other boss kills is that if you are working in a team that the, the pain and the butt with this one really is that you have to get the kill so say i was running with my friends and they were getting the kills and the mission on the bosses it would not count for me so um that that's quite annoying um so it's much easier to do to kill so many bosses um on solo by yourself uh but yeah that that is all the masks all 15 masks that are available on the division right now in 1.8 i'm sure there'll be more in the future and i will probably cover them again if they add quite a few more um but yeah let me know what you think about these masks uh, like i said at the start of the video guys if you do like what i do if you like this video um you're watching the streams please hit that subscribe button like share my stuff uh, really really helps in helping my channel grow and i do appreciate it uh, until the next video guys thanks for watching and peace out